Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm going to prepare a video on BI reports. Okay, so there is one topic in the BI report on that I am preparing this video. So I had already prepared some of the videos on BI report. So you can go through that also. In this video, I am going to tell you that how to pass the parameter as the value to any type of a report. Okay, but that parameter is in a comma separated. Suppose I want to fetch the detail of some of the PO, okay, purchase order. So that time I want to fetch the detail of two PO at the same time. So that time I have to pass the value as in comma separated. So how we can achieve that, that we are going to see in this video. So before starting, I just want to tell you that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel for more details and please go through the Fusion playlist if you want to learn Oracle Fusion in detail. To continue to the topic. So our today's video is based on create BIP report using the input parameter with comma separated value in Oracle Fusion. So for achieving this requirement, I have to go to my Fusion instance first. So I'm just going to the Fusion instance. So this is the catalog page of my Fusion instance. Okay, so here what we have to do, we have to create one data model, okay. For creating any type of report, we need the data model. So I'm just going here and here is an option create and then there is a data model. So the Fusion instance is getting upgraded day by day. Okay, so there are some navigation and functionality are getting changed. Previously, there is an option new over here. Now they rename it as an create. Now I want to create a new data model. So I have to click on this plus icon and here is an SQL query. So here we have to give the name for our data model. So I'm just giving the name as BIP PO report because we are going to fetch the detail of PO over here. So PO is nothing but the purchase order. And here I'm just selecting the data source as in Fusion DB. And here we have to write the query. So for this, I have one ready query. So what I will do, I will just take that same query. So I had just copied the query and pasted it here. And I'm just clicking on the OK button. So now what is the thing? Our data model is created. Now I'm just seeing the data. We will check that we are getting the data or not. So just click on this data. Then here is a view. Click on view. And if you want to see the tabular format, just click on this table view. So we are able to see. So if you want to see more rows, so you can just change this one and you can again click on view. So it will show us the number of rows which we have selected. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to do the comma separation fetching. Okay, so before that, I am just copying few of the PO number from here. So I'm just going to the notepad and here I will write the steps required. So our first step is create the data model. Okay, after creating the data model, what we are doing, we are just copying few of the PO numbers. So that is 162352. And after 53, 54, and 55. So it is in the same sequence. So I'm just changing the numbers here. And these are the four PO that is purchase order. Okay. So I'm just going back. So segment one is nothing but the purchase order number. Okay. Now what we have to do, I have to edit this data model. So I have to just click on here and here is the edit option. Now we have to pass the PO number means that is nothing but segment one as the parameter. Okay, so what we will do, we will just write here one where condition. So I'm just writing where that my segment one in. Why we are passing in? Because we have to pass multiple values and then in the bracket, I have to pass some variable. So I'm just writing colon. Okay, because I have to pass the bind variable. That's why colon then P underscore PO underscore number I clicked on OK so it will prompt me on another window where it will ask that you want to create the parameter or not so I'm just checking this checkbox because I want to create that parameter and if I clicked on OK so as soon as you will click on OK the parameter will get created so see here then the data type of that respective parameter so my PO number that is the segment one it is of the string type so I will keep same everything will be same now what I will do, I will save this data model first. So I am just clicking on the save icon. So you can save this anywhere. So I am just saving it into the shared folder. And then after this is in a test. And inside the test folder, I am just saving the report. So it is the xx underscore po underscore report 
underscore dm dm is for the data model i'm copying the same into the description section also and just clicking on the ok button so you can see that it is saved okay now again i am going to the data model so here i am just checking the data again so i am just clicking on data and here view okay so if i click on view so it will not give me any detail why because here we had not given any type of po number so from our list now i am just copying the po number and i will paste it here and i will click on view i will make it as a table view so you can see one po is displayed now i will try with two po's so i am just comma separating it and second one that is three i am just changing the po number now if i click on view so what will happen it won't show me any data why it is not showing because comma separation logic we had not added till now so for adding the comma separation logic what we have to do just we have to go parameter first okay and there is an one option text field contains comma separated values so we have to check this checkbox then after we have to just save this report so the report got saved now what we have to do we have to again go to this data set and this time try to click on view so if you click on view then i am just clicking on the table view so you can see now it is there are two pos so suppose i want to see the three pos so if i copy the third po number over here so and i clicked on view so it will give me the output as an a three po number so you can see this now what i am just doing i am just saving this data model now if you want to create a report for this so in short i am just going to tell you that how to create the report also so here is an save as a sample data you just click on the save as a sample data so you will get this message saved as sample data click on ok and then here is an option to create the report so click on this create report button as soon as you clicked on this create report button it will redirect you on other screen okay so we don't have to create this report using this prompt so i'm just cancelling this one just click on ok and here is an option to browse the data model so i am just browsing our data model which we had created so i have to go to the location where i had saved my data model so i'm just going to the test and here i am just selecting the data model okay so my data model is selected so you can see that over here so if i want to create the rtf template using selected data model so, so i just have to click on this generate so it will ask you one template name so i'm just giving the same as an xxpo underscore report i'm just clicking on the generate button so as soon as i click on the generate button it will start generating the rtf so you can see that the rtf is generated now you just have to save this also so what is this it is my report so i'm just giving the name as an xxpo underscore report okay and i'm just copying the same into the description section also and i will just click on the ok button so it will get saved after some time so you can see here it is saved now if i want to see the output i have to just click on this view report button and you can see that the output but here there will be just the header then a header because we had not passed any po number till now i am just passing this two po numbers that is under 162 352 and 53 i am just click on apply so you can see that our data is generated but suppose if i pass only one po number then we will check what will happen so we will get only one data so i am just copying one more from my list and pasting it over here and clicking on apply so as soon as we click on apply okay so why it is showing to only because this is already there that one six two three five four is already there i have to take something different so i'm just taking as one six two three five three i'm just clicking on apply so now you can see that all the three po's are there five three five four and five five okay if you want to download this output you can download it in any format and you can save it okay so by this way i had told you that how to pass the comma separated value to any report or how to create parameterized report and how to pass the comma separated value for that if you have any doubts you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching